All right, everybody, welcome back to the Brevard Sports Network 8U game between the Panthers and Central Florida Saints. Caleb Brown here. Going to have you all day long. There, the, there is squib kick and look at look at little man go. Now they're fighting for the football. Waiting for the refs to blow this play dead. All right, so here we go. It's going to be first and ten for the Saints. First and ten. Here we go. Eight U game right here on the Brevard Sports Network. And the Saints will take over. They'll come out in the, that wishbone formation. Two deep backs, one fullback, quarterback under center. I'd like to thank Gamers R Us for sponsoring the broad, sponsoring today's action. Quarterback under center. And it looks like someone got a head start. There's going to be, and, and the refs are going to blow this one dead. False start on the offense. That'll back him up 10 yards. And yeah, we, we saw that the, the guard got a little uh, happy feet. He was ready to go. Back of the Panthers got five yards, first to 15, about 32 yard line. All right, all right. All right, here we go. Down the side or up the huge. What a huge run! Sorry about that. I had to I had to plug in the phone there. It's gonna be a Panther first down. And that the Central Florida Saints. Qu quarterback hands off to the deep back, and the deep back rolling right through the defense, gets to that third level and is finally stopped. But not before picking up another Saints first down. And the Saints, well, you can tell what their objective is. They're going to come run the football. They're going to run it down your throat. And, and, and they're saying, we dare you to stop us. And there we go, another misdirection. And he's going to go all the way. Touchdown. Central Florida Saints. That's the Panthers. Check that. Okay, that, that was the that was the Panthers. So t touchdown, Panthers. I apologize, I didn't realize whose, whose colors was what. Hand off up the middle. Extra point, no good, but the Panthers. So it was the Panthers who got the opening try. Possession on offense, and they put points on the board. It's going to be 6 nothing Panthers here after 
the first possession of offense. All right. So the Panthers are in the white jerseys. The Saints are in the the black jerseys. That make that made no sense to me when you look at the team's colors. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a I'm just a dumb broadcaster. Here we go. Here we go. The Panthers. Space Coast Panthers. There's a kick, and that is a nice squib kick. Picks it up, tries to fake, fake out a team, and uh, the coverage team does an excellent job getting down there. See if I can get the number of the... Young man who made the tackle. It's going to be number four. Number four is uh, Walker Delancey. And Delancey on the kickoff coverage. First and ten for now. Now it's first and ten for the Saints. The the the, the, the Saints and the Saints are calling a timeout already. Coach did not like the formation, and so again, folks, I do I do apologize. The Panthers on the opening possession drove the ball, and we saw what they like to do. They like to run the football. They like to run run that wishbone. And so I, I feel you're going to see a lot of that today. And uh, now we'll see what the Saints like to do. So here come the Saints back out onto the field. I want to thank all of our sponsors, Gamers R Us, Natwick Insurance, Zone 6, Reapers, Uber Zotti. They come out here in an empty set. Quarterback going to try to take it on his own. Picks up about three. And the uh, I'm going to apologize to the Saints fan base now. The jerseys are, they have dark jerseys, but then the jerseys are, are see-through and like blend in with the, or the uh, the numbers blend in with the jerseys. So I'm going to try to call out, num you know, numbers and names, but uh, the jerseys are a bit hard to read when you're up here at the top of a press box and and there's no distinguishing features really about the numbers. Quarterback is going to hand off to the back in the back. He's got some running room, gets to the outside. He's got himself a first down and then some. Finally wrestled out of bounds. And that's the Saints first down. If, if, if I can make continue making recommendations to um, to youth leagues, when you make your jerseys, if you have a dark background, light numbers. If you're having a light background, dark numbers. So it's easy for us broadcasters to uh, to visibly see your jerseys. That's my TED Talk. I formation. Quarterback fumbles the snap. And who's on it? 
The Space Coast Panthers have recovered a fumble and the defense comes up with the turnover. Not, not, not one that I need, but a paper. Huh? And there's, once again, the running back for the Panthers. He's got all sorts of speed. Good. Bye. Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. And that's his second rushing touchdown of the day. I'll see if I can get a number for you folks. I believe that's number 18. If that's number 18, that's... Uh, Maurice Smith with his second touchdown of the day. Maurice Smith, second touchdown of the day for the Panthers, and it's 12 to zero. Going for the point after. There's the handoff. Cuts right up field, and he'll walk it in. But there's a flag on the play. You want to talk flags. If you were here watching the flag game, there was inside two minutes, there was about 15, 20, 20 flags thrown in two minutes. Dead ball, false start. Ball start on the offense. That will be a repeat the try. Handoff, and he'll still get in for the point after. So it should be 13, 13 nothing. Space Coast Panthers on top. With 4.55 left to go here in Aquata. Number one. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to one of our very, be another great sponsor of ours, Orange Pest Control. Putting the squeeze on pests since 2013. And the Panthers are up 13-0, getting set to kick this ball off. And we are, that's a nice sky high kick. And Panthers kickoff coverage, doing a good job keeping contain and keeping the returner from getting any big yardage. 
not, nice little return, but uh, there is also a flag on the play, so we'll see what that is. Looks like it's going to be holding on the Saints. Un unsportsmanlike conduct dished out to the to the Saints. So unsportsmanlike conduct on the Saints, and that's going to back that up, that return up. And I'll tell you what, you know, undisciplined penalties like that will be the reason you lose championship games. So we're late here into the first quarter. For, for just about four minutes and counting. Left here in the first quarter. There's the handoff, and the Saints are trying to get a, their run game going. And guess what? The Space Coast Panthers said, we got too much speed for you. Uh-uh. I'm going to try to zoom in, try to see if I can get the number on his jersey. Number, number 32 for the Space Coast Panthers. That's going to result. Julius Robinson getting credit with the tackle. Second and about 13 for the Panthers or for the Saints. And they're going with a double reverse. Ball's on the ground. And the Space Coast Panthers have caused another turnover and have given their offense short field. About 3.28 left to go here in the first quarter. The Panthers' offense takes over with a very short field and with an awesome opportunity to, get the ju to uh, put more points on the board before the quarter ends. Huh? Yes, sir. New running back in the backfield. Quarterback under center. And the Panthers coaches want to take a timeout and talk this one over. They want to make sure everybody's on the same, same page, reading the same book, down to the same letter. Again, I'd like to thank our, uh, another one of our great sponsors, Orange Pest Control, putting the squeeze on pests since 2013. Orange Pest Control voted one of the best pest control companies here in Brevard County. In, 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 in information down at the bottom of your screen, 321-631-1974, or find them online at Go Orange Pest. Dot com. I'd like to thank everyone watching us here on the Brevard Sports Network. We will be here all day long, and the Space Coast Panthers are ready to go. Uh, the Saints better get their defense out here. I'll, I'll, uh, well, okay, they're ready for play whistle. Hadn't been blown, but men... And there's the handoff to the new back who's wrapped up, maybe got a yard on the play. It's going to bring up. Second down just inside the 20-yard line. We'll call it about the uh 
18 and a half yard line is what I'll call it. Now they come back out, back, back, and there they are, back to that wishbone formation. And that's going to be a toss to the outside. He's got a lead blocker. Can his man get turned the corner? He turns. Stiff arm. And that'll be enough for a Space Coast Panther first down. I'd like to thank uh, PTO officials for being out here and handling the offici officiating of championships. There's a toss, cuts back across the field. He's got one man to beat, being slung down. He is slung forward into the end zone. Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. So he was slung by his face mask. He was slung forward, and being slung forward, he gets into the end zone. But there was a penalty. It was a, um, yeah, it, it was an encroachment on the defense. Now, I, I, God bless it. There's too much stuff around here, I promise you. I will say, yeah, it, it's not, it, it is nothing that I need. Nope, that, that, and the extra point is good. Sorry for the confusion here, folks. We're, the the, the 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 press box oh wow there, there there's a part there's a penalty after the play so so now i i, I got to see that penalty that was after the play, who that was on. All right, so I'm working here with the with the clock operator. He, he one of the best clock operators in the county. So, hold on, we're gonna go ahead and f change the scoreboard here. Up, up top. It's 20 to nothing. Yep. So the, the. Two minutes and ten seconds left to go here in the first quarter. So Space Coast getting the personal foul penalty after the conversion. And it's 20 to nothing. And they tried the onside kick, but uh, it has to go 10 yards. It does not go 10 yards. And it will be first and 10. First and 10 for the Saints in very positive field position. Can the Saints capitalize here?
And so here we go. The Saints will take over on offense. There's the handoff to the deep back. Deep back loses the football, and the wheels are falling off the apple cart here for the Saints, and the Panthers recover another turnover. Huh? Man. Co 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 And uh, yeah, sure. There's the toss to the to the outside. May, bounces off a defender, not able to turn the corner. Good job there by the Saints defense. Quarterback under center and Space Coast will take over. There's a handoff on the end around. Tried to turn it upfield, and the space and the Central Florida Saints defense was not having it. So to bring up third down for the Panthers. Another end around. And guess what? That's Maurice. Maurice says he's got to make a house call. One man to beat, and he's down the sideline. Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. Maurice Smith. That's his third touchdown of the day. So Maurice Smith with his third touchdown of the day. Now, wait a minute. I think there was a flag. A flag is going to take this one back. So take the touchdown off the board. And and that is the end of the first quarter, folks. That's the end of the first quarter with your score on the Uber Zotti Brevard Sports Network scoreboard. 20 to nothing, Space Coast Panthers on top. We'll be right back.
and we're back here with the start of the second quarter. Space Coast Panthers and the Central Florida Saints. Uh, well, not going well for the Saints at the moment. But again, there's still a lot of football left to be played. The Saints have just turned the ball over on three straight possessions with uh, fumbles. And here we go. There's an end around. Great job using a block. Great closing speed there from the backside defender. Again, uh, it, it it's hard that the numbers blend right in with the jerseys, and uh, it's hard to tell the number for the the Saints players. So I do apologize to the young man, but uh, second quarter. Drops back to pass. Fires incomplete. He had a man wide open. It's gonna bring up. That was uh, that was fourth down, and so the Saints get a defensive stop finally, and uh, So here come the Saints, and we'll get a chance to, as they're going to just, the Saints are trying to sustain a drive here. So far, their last three drives have all ended in fumbled turnovers on the handoff. Do not click any links you see in the Facebook chat. They just want your credit card, and uh, you're already watching the game here for free, so. So, ball start on the Saints there. And the quarterback uh, trying to take it himself, and he'll take a shot. The, 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 the Saints spread the receivers out kind of two by two with a, with a tight end and decided to run the quarterback right up the middle. He picked up a couple of yards. Still going to bring up second down and about 13, 14 yards. Quarterback getting the Saints in position. There's the handoff. And what a great play by the linebacker coming up on the run blitz. And I'll see if I can get his number to give him his credit. If he can turn around, I can see the back of his jersey. I believe that was number 32 on the tackle. That is uh, Julius Robinson with the hit in the backfield. And they're gonna drop back to pass. Quarterback fires, he's got a man open and it's caught! The biggest play of the day! And he's tackled inside the 15-yard line. And the Saints have first and 10 right inside the orange pest control red zone. It 
What a play. And the Saints have new life right now. And slips out of two tackles. Not able to slip from the rest of the Panthers. And that's going to be a big loss. And unfortunately... Saints going, and they're going to sling it out and incomplete. D-line doing a good job putting pressure on the quarterback and, and, and for, force him to throw that one earlier than he would have liked. It's going to bring up uh, third down now for the Panthers, or for the Saints. All right, we, 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 we can't be having a lot of kids in the... Sorry if you heard me yelling, Mike. Here we go. End around here, and he's got a couple lead blockers. Takes to the outside. One man to beat to the end zone. Slips the tackle into the end zone. Touchdown. Central Florida Saints. I believe that was number three on the carry. Bryson Cooper. Three oh nine left to go here in the second quarter. And here come the Saints on the point after. Trying to get to the outside. No good. But the Saints have put points on the board thanks to a big, big touchdown run by number three, uh, Bryson Cooper. That drive was powered by Natwick Insurance. Natwick Insurance also powers the Brevard Sports Network. When it comes to understanding a claim, filing a claim, understanding your insurance, anything that has to do with insurance, Natwick Insurance, Eric Natwick and his team are the ones that will have your back and you want on your team. So the Saints with a 20 to nothing, or 20 to six, We got uh, Anitra Cambridge says, let's go Saints. Mike, Mike Sears Rita 
says, let's go Panthers. Got lots of great fans in the chat. There's the kickoff, and it bounces, will be picked up by Maurice. Maurice makes a couple men miss. He's got two touchdowns on the day. So Maurice Smith will take the ball out to about the St. 49, 48 yard line. Nope, they're gonna balls on the 50. That that cone always always messes with me. For some reason, I always think that cone is the line of scrimmage. That's the that's right. That's the rush line. And there's the handoff, and there's another flag. So we'll see what the flag results in, but it looks to be in the area of holding. Hmm? Two minutes and 53 or 15? 53. 53. Th all right, two minutes and 53 seconds left to go here in the first half. Got uh, Stephanie Ogletree saying, let's go Panthers, go Weston. We got uh, Casey... Is Casey saying to the Super Bowl boys, time to bring home five rings. Dominique Ward says, let's go Saints. So here we go, first and 10 from the 50. And that's the handoff. And look at, look at the offensive line do the work. Great run by the running back, but you'll, you'll, you'll see it. The offensive line got five or six yards of push. And when your offensive line does that, you all you do is just be patient, find your hole, you find your hole, goodbye. And, and, and look, I'm a former offensive lineman, so I'm always willing to give props to the big guys when they do work up front like that because that, that's awesome. Uh, time, t timeout called by. Hmm? Right. Timeout called by the defense with two minutes and fifteen seconds left. Twenty-three seconds. And the Saints call the timeout, trying to. I can't say that comment, but I I I I, I love the energy, uh, Miss Renee. Again, we will have all the games bro being bro being broadcasted right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Coming up next, uh, hold on, let me take a look at our schedule. Bunnin up, bunnin up. 14U, the Central Florida Saints taking on the Space Coast Panthers for the conference championship of the 14U division after that. Handoff makes one cut and he will be marked down at about the 20, 30 or 29 yard line. Second down. I'll take another Coke. And there's, there's Maurice Smith to the outside. Maurice Smith finally brought down. The, the first time he's truly been brought down, it's going to bring up third down and very short here for the Panthers. Third and about two. 
I'd like to welcome everyone watching here on the Brevard Sports Network. Thank you for choosing to ch just have us a part of your sports Saturday. Quarterback tosses to run the deep back, and he's getting to the outside. Does he have the speed? He gets caught up by the arm and brought down at about the nine-yard line. So Panthers first down. If he turns around, I'll, I'll see if I can timeout call by Space Coast, and I believe that's number 23 on the carry. If, if that's number 23, that's... Uh, Roman Rao. Or Roman Rowe, check that. And he had himself a, a, a nice little run there. Puts him, they're going to put him just on the 10 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 inside the Natwick Insurance red zone. The Panthers trying to ensure a score before they go into halftime. 51 seconds left to go. There's the toss, and there's Smith. Maurice Smith, uh, he, he had no chance in... Look, that's nothing against that young man, but he had three defenders basically saying, no matter which way you go, we got guys. Made a business decision, get got wrapped up, and that'll bring up second and goal from now the 12-yard line as the Panthers. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of time coming off that clock in between play calls. I get you have a lead, but you'd like to put more points before you. And they're going to give a toss to Smith. Maurice Smith, it's going to be a race to the pylon. Can he turn the corner? Knocked out of bounds at about the one-yard line. And and I, I get he was trying to get wide, but but if, if he would have just cut straight to the pylon, I think he has it. He Three... Three seconds left to go in the half, and it's going to be third and goal. The should be the final play, barring a defensive penalty. Final play of the first half. Here we go. Coming up at halftime, absolutely nothing. I'm going to take a break. And, uh, uh, folks, th I, I, this is an exciting day of football. This is how I love to spend my Saturdays with these kids, getting the spotlight these athletes and, and give them the platform that they deserve to have. And uh, I, I thank you all for making part, making us part of your sports Saturday. I know there's college football on, but why would you watch college football and those players getting paid when you can watch these players doing it for the love of the game or the love of their parents, one of the two? So here we go. First. Third and goal from the one. Three seconds on the clock. Potentially the last play. Gives up to the fullback. Walks into the end zone. Touchdown. Space Coast Panthers. And I did not get a chance to see whose number it was carrying that football. But it, it was the fullback there. The fullback walks it in, and it's now 26-6, 20-point lead. And the Panthers are go now going to go for the extra point. Again, out of that wishbone formation. And he gets in, so that'll be one extra point. It's uh, 28. 28 to 6. Or 20. Wait.
27 to 6 in favor of And guess what folks it's halftime so I'm going to take a break and when we come back we will have second half action right here on the Brevard Sports Network
All right, folks, here we go. We are back on. Ready for second half action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Changing the quarter, third quarter. Brevard Sports Network is powered by Natwick Insurance as well as Uber Zadi. Oh, come on now. Well, is uh, Uber Zadi as well as Natwick Insurance, Zone Six Reapers, and uh, also Orange Pest Control. Thank you to all the sponsors who make it possible for Brevard Sports Network to do what we do every day, covering high school sports of volleyball, boys and girls basketball, high school football. Every sport that we cover here on Brevard Sports Network, it, it's because of our sponsors. Because of our sponsors, and I cannot thank them enough. And we just ask you all that are watching, if you're local and here in the area, Patronize those that help Brevard Sports Network. Give them your business because ultimately they end up giving the money back into communities and allowing us to give these athletes the, the reach that they deserve. Giving them that platform to shine and allowing, you know, aunts, unc aunts uncles uh, to be able to watch their, their family from long, far away. So... Here we go as Space Coast got the ball in the first half. Now they'll kick off here to start the second half. As a fresh eight on the clock. It's 27 to six, Space Coast Panthers on top. As they scored right before the first, first half ended. And there's the kickoff, bounce. And there's that young man trying to find some running room, being dragged down at about the 26, 27 yard line is where I think where they'll stop his forward progress. Third quarter, eight U action. I'd like to give a shout out to another one of our sponsors. Florida Breeze Air and Heat. Florida Breeze. Look, I know it's starting to cool down, so now's the perfect time. If you need to get that AC fixed, now's the time to go get it fixed because we both know that sometimes Christmas ain't Christmas, okay? Sometimes you're sweating yourself to death in Christmas. Don't need to be doing that. Get your AC fixed. Or for those of you that cannot stand temperatures below 70 degrees, Get that heat fixed because no matter what, you need to be prepared. Saints hand off and that Space Coast Panther defense starting off the second half just like they did with the first half, not allowing that running back to get much of any room It'll lose a couple of yards, going to bring up second down and about 13 for the Saints. Coming up next is uh, the 14U game. The Saints versus the Panthers 14U is the next game on the docket. I formation gives it to the deep back and once again this time he slips a tackle he's got some wide open running room and a great job closing on that back side that was number 44 on the tackle that's Darian Walker Darian Walker with the backside pursuit and kept that from being a, a bigger gain
27 to 6. Here in the third quarter, the Saints come back out. This is uh, third and about 11 as they pick up two yards on the previous play. Timeout by the Saints, taking a timeout early here in this first half. Six oh eight left to go here in the third quarter as we're doing again like to thank Florida Breeze Air and Heat for sales, service and installation. Give them a call at three two one nine five one eight seven six seven or find them online at FloridaBreeze.com. Information at the bottom of your screen. Score twenty seven to six there up on the Brevard Sports Network Uber Zotti scoreboard. And again, as you all know, Brevard Sports Network powered by Natwick Insurance and the Zone 6 Reapers, again, along with Ubrazati. Brevard Sports Network has formed a partnership with Ubrazati. If you want to get the best athletic training, when you go, just go take a look at their YouTube page and watch how the progression of athletes getting on the Z treads and the, the treadmill speed and watching how that speed actually translates to on field speed. It is truly one of uh, one of many great transformations. And again, if you need proof, go take a look at the athletes that have gone to Uberzadi, and then go look at what they're doing at either in the high school level, the college level, and maybe, just maybe, in some cases, the professional level. I promise you, Uberzadi is where you need to be. Third and 11 here for the Saints. Come out. Joss back to pass. And he's getting pressure. Evades one. Evades a second defender. And he tries to turn the corner. Might have picked up a yard or two on the play. That quarterback out there looking like Baker Mayfield holding off Nick Bosa. I mean, that was just stiff arm. Get off me. Stiff arm. Stay off me. Look. Look, he may have only gotten two yards, but that should have been a five or six yard loss. So the fact he was able to pick up two yards, still a, still a great job by that young quarterback. And and for those Saints fans watching, um, the numbers blend into the jerseys. Blend into the jersey, so it, it's hard to uh, call out names when the, when there's not even a, a, an outline of of the number on the on the black jer black and charcoal jerseys. So I do apologize. Fourth and nine. Go fakes the reverse and the Panthers are in the backfield and the Panthers defense gets a big stop. Turnover on downs, and it will be first and 10 from about the 30-yard line of the Saints. Four fifty-one left to go here in the third quarter. Keep an eye on the comments. Here we go. And the Panthers. There, th there's a direct snap. And wait a minute. There's a fight. Or there's a there's a, a tussle for the ball. Not a fight. A, a tussle for the ball. Fumble recovered by the Saints. And the Saints defense creates their first turnover. The ball was 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 fumbled on the snap. The the ball rolled back to the the uh, the back, and he was just he was not able to pick it up. Great job there by the Saints defensive lineman to get down and dirty and fight for that football. And the Saints just might have some new life if they can get another offensive drive going. Four oh six left to go here in the third quarter.
Look at that. Gives the inside hand. Great job reading the block. Follows his blocker. And he gets wide and brought down. That was a nice run. but, but it, it, And the coachable moment there is when you see your block being made, cut hard off that block. The, the young man tried to get wide and wide, and when he got wider and wider, that gave the de defense time to come up over the top and, and make the play there. But again, that's, that's one of those coachable moments. Three minutes left to go here in the third quarter. There's the handoff. Cuts right up field, and he is wrapped up. That Space Coast Panthers defense, they've given up one big play all game, and, and, and that was the, the deep pass. It was it was 30-plus yard pass passing play they gave up that's the biggest play they've given up all game other than the touchdown and other than that it every every tackle has either happened within one or two yards of the line of scrimmage or behind that's how quick this defense is on a beautiful saturday for football The Saints coming up now, third and 10. Quarterback under center, drops back to pass. Had a man, throws it up late, and that's incomplete. He was about to be brought down, had three defenders in his face, and it's kind of hard to throw a pass when you got three guys that are looking to crush you, looking, literally looking you eye to eye. So, again, coming up next, we're going to have 14U action. It'll be the Space Coast Panthers taking on the Central Florida Saints in the 14U division for the 14U Conference Championship. Now, now I, 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 I've never understood stood this why you have the, the 14U in the, the middle of the day, because most leagues go, they go in age order. You know, go, huh? Ah. Okay. Okay. So I, I I just got. So so I just got the reason why, and and I like it. Uh, the the clock operator was telling me that they do the fourteen U because parents weren't a lot of parents were not staying to support the fourteen U. So they switch around some of the order to make get the fourteen U in the middle of the day, so the fourteen U has support. All right, I like it. 135 left to go. And here come the Panthers. Here's Maurice Smith. Smith slipping and sliding his way. Breaks a tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. But there's a flag on the play. And that is the second touch. Offsides on the defense. Touchdown stands. Maurice Smith has his third. Third touchdown. Actually, ch check that. Let's go. Touchdown number four on the day. I don't know what you. I don't know what you call four. I, I know. I know you call three a hat trick. 
but that, but that was touchdown number four. So uh, a hat trick plus one, we'll call it, for Maurice Smith. I mean, look, that that, that kid's going to be special, and you're going to keep hearing his name throughout the youth level, and uh, I have a feeling we'll be calling him a lot at the high school level once he reaches there. I, I say that. The kid's only eight years old, and I'm already trying to put him in high school. Mom, if mom goes back and listens, she's like, Mr. Announcer, will you shut up and, and just let my kid be, be the kid? I don't want him to grow up too fast. I apologize. <laughs> and... Uh, One thirty-three left here in the third quarter. There's a snap, and the Saints, uh, the Saints said, "We don't know what's going on, but um, we know this: you're not executing that play." One thirty-three left to go. It's thirty-three to six in favor of Space Coast, and. Uh, yeah, look, the Space Coast program is, is starting to become one of the the big big programs here in the county. They they, they themselves are slowly producing athletes, and you're seeing them at the high school level. Someone says, "Way to go, chosen!" That boy, is Swifty. Let's go, chosen. And, uh, yeah, look, Space Coast uh, was on a mission today. The, the AU was playing no games. Do not click any links that are posted in the chat. They just want your credit card money. We're, we're not here for your credit cards. We're here. We have sponsors that paid for this broadcast. And uh, you're, you're watching it for free right here on the Brevard Sports Network Facebook page. There's the – it. someone's got to get a hand on it. And finally, someone smart from the Saints and jumps on it. You had two Panthers barreling down that were ready to recover that fumble. We have uh, Samira Smith who says, uh, yay, grandson. I'd have to, I'd have to uh, assume she's talking about one Maurice Smith. First and 10 for the Saints at their own 35, and there was lots of movement there. It's going to be uh, encroachment on the on the Panthers. That'll be a free five yards. It's going to bring up first and five to the 35-yard uh, line. Or check that. It'll be to the 40-yard line. Championship Saturday right here on the Brevard Sports Network. We got the conference championships here. I believe this is the M Y. That'll be the final play of the third quarter. Uh, this is the M Y F C. M Y F C. M Y F C Conference Championships. Uh, Alan Slaughterzinski currently broadcasting the A C Y A A Super Bowls uh, that are primarily dominated by the uh, the Coco Youth Tigers. Wonder if they're putting on a performance like uh, the high school team did last night, Coco High School Tigers, uh, uh, had their way. Is putting it lightly with uh, Lake Placid, uh, sixty-three to nothing. 
What's the time on the clock? Uh, I do not. Hold up. Hold up. Is, is, is it a running clock or is it going to be one more beer? Okay. So, yes, I. Uh, yes, it is a running clock. So, the Space Coast Panthers ate you. Thank you, Tanya. I. <laughs> I. I I thought it was, but I wanted to. I was confirming, and I got confirmation from the uh, the clock operator. Uh, Vic, Vic, it's uh, yes, it is a running clock, and the Space Coast Panthers are going to claim the eight U Conference Championship as the clock is running like a track meet. This is a championship field for this weekend. Uh, I'll tell you about it after. Florida Breeze. And the Saints have a play developing. There's some speed. Taken down. Gets about seven yards on the play on that reverse. And it'll be enough for a Central Florida Saints first down. Uh, so last night. In the SSAA, the Sunshine State Athletic Association, the Space Coast Vipers won a Class 1A state championship. Last night on the field, they beat the Bell Bulldogs in a game you saw right here on the Brevard Sports Network. And now there's many conference champions being crowned today It's a, it's a great weekend for this field. All the hardware, championship hardware, being exchanged on the field today. Split back. And they're going to try that reverse. And it's not going to work. The pursuit of that Space Coast Panthers defense is unbelievable. Trying to go east and west on this uh, Panthers team is, is, is not a smart idea. Five fifty five left to go here in the game. What we'll do again, just like we did with the first broadcast, we will end this broadcast and get set for 14 u action between the saints and the panthers we'll uh we'll adjust the scoreboard and get the sponsors and stuff ready so when we'll, it'll be about maybe five minutes five minutes from the end of one broadcast to the start of another and uh we'll be then live and ready to go Again, I'd like to thank the Central Florida State Saints fans for tuning into the broadcast. Much appreciated. Thank you for making us a part of your Saturday. Of course, the Space Coast Panthers supporters and uh, flags all over the field. I even think I saw my clock operator throw a flag from up here. Ball start on the Saints. And <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a delay a game, but um, look, and and if you're a Saints fan, look, there's no shame in in bowing out at the at the conference championship. Look, look, you're one of two teams to get to a conference championship in your division. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh, you see that? Swiped him off. He's still looking, still carrying a football, and finally brought down. But that quarterback has made some plays today. He, it, he's dropped back to pass, and there's not m many things that are open on that play. And, uh, you know, I, I made the comparison to Baker Mayfield last week against the 49ers. In, in a two-minute drive, Baker Mayfield was stiff-arming Nick Bosa, you know, that's, we're not talking Jenny Joe Schmo. We're talking Nick Bosa uh, and stiff-armed him and still completed a pass. And this quarterback is doing a lot of that same thing today, keeping defenders off of him, trying to
buy time for his receivers to get open and make a play. Unfortunately, his receiver is just not helping him out. Or I shouldn't say that. It is more to the credit of the defense, defensive backfield that the Panthers are, are, are executing. The defense back there is absolutely phenomenal. Third and 14, and great job making a cut. Great job on the read. Cutting forward, he's going to be close to a first down. He's going to be maybe about a yard or two short. It was third and 14. He picked up about 10 yards on the play. So actually we'll call it, the officially mark it fourth and four. Again, I'd like to thank everyone here. Saints trying to end the season on a positive note here. Cuts right up, beautiful lane. Great read there on the block by the running back. And he'll get inside the 30-yard line with a minute 55 left to go. Again, what I like about the Saints is they're not quitting. They're, you know, look, they easily could be, ah, uh, you know. But, but, they're fighting. They're still trying to put points on the board. They're still trying to come back, and I like it. Love the attitude I see out of this team. And a timeout being called, called by the Space Coast Panthers. One, one thirty-three left to go on the clock as uh, Lottie Dotty, everybody getting in on this. And here we go. Clock is running. There's the handoff. And once again, what a play made. Is that 35 or 25 that made that tackle? I think that was number 35. That was uh, Mason Phillips getting in there. And he was told set the edge. Yes, the 8U Space Coast Panthers are headed to the Super Bowl. <laughs> the 6U and 8U Panthers have solidified their spot into the Super Bowl. We got the 14U Space Coast Panthers coming up next. And goodness gracious, what a way for the defense to finish out this game with 38 seconds. Again, the clock is running, and there's going to be a clock stoppage. The Saints are calling a timeout. Thirty-three seconds, or thirty-five. Sorry, thirty-five seconds. But still, still, uh, uh, 
Third, 35 seconds and a timeout is called. <laughs> look, um, I mean, you know, look, may maybe if you're the Saints, maybe you got one more, one final fun trick play you want to try running with the team. I get it. I don't know what, what trick play you could have at 8U, but you never know. And already got lining up issues, and uh, <laughs> the quarterback just shoved his lineman, and he almost just fell. Uh, there's a pass play. Intercepted. And uh, this one's being returned. Finally forced out of bounds. And the, team, the whole defense is celebrating with their teammate there. See, let's see if I can get the number of that that young man. I, I see him. I see him. Turn around so I can see your bigger number. That's the ball game, though. He seals it for his squad. There he is celebrating. So the 8U and 6U Panthers are heading to the Super Bowl. Will 14, you join them? Well, you'll have to come on back and find out in about five minutes here on the Brevard Sports Network.